What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new here, my name is Jay. And in this video today, we're gonna be taking a look at the RGB microphone by Savalitor. Now, first and foremost, I just wanna say thank you to the company for sending it out. I really do appreciate any and everything we get here on the channel that I can share with you guys. And if tech tips, tutorials, reviews, and unboxings is something that you went to, then please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm can be nice to this video. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. So if you are in the market for a USB microphone, you can find this one right here on Amazon. I'll make sure I throw a link up in the description, but the price is about $45.99. And this is the Savalitor RGB USB condenser microphone, suitable for your PC, Mac, PS4, iPhone, Xbox, and things like that. So let's go ahead and scroll through the product page and see what else we can find on this actual microphone. Uh, just says some clear sound, plug and play, no latency, good for podcasting and gaming and things like that. says it has a cardioid pattern with a dynamic range of about 88 decibels. Uh, like I said, plug and play. Uh, it does have a headphone jack and things like that. So uh, just some good, quick information to kind of breeze through on the product page. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the box and see what comes inside. So taking a look at the box, it shows the RGB colors as far as the microphone is concerned. Has a nice little picture of the microphone on it. Pretty good presentation. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, packaging. And uh, right here on the side, you can pause and take a look at that as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of the actual box. So once you open up the box, you're going to be greeted with the actual manual. Uh, very detailed manual. Uh, very well put together. Uh, has a lot of great information in there for you to read just in case you need to get up and running. After that, you will have the microphone. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And uh, deep down inside of the actual packaging, you will have your USB-A to USB-C cable, which plugs directly into the bottom of the actual microphone. Looking at the microphone itself, um, as far as how it feels, it's very light, um, kind of plasticky. Uh, it's not like made of metal or anything, although it does feel a little metal, but Honestly, I think it's just uh, just some really hard plastic, but it is well put together. It is sturdy. Uh, all the buttons and all the knobs and things like that uh, move real well. Um, the design of it is pretty nice. I'm liking how it looks and uh, so forth and so on. Um, down at the bottom, you just have a USB-C cable and your headphone jack. One thing to note is that you cannot put this microphone on a boom arm. That is something to note. So just know that you will be using this on your desk and you can't put it on a boom arm. So here's just a quick shot of everything that you're going to get in the actual box. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to connect this to your iPhone. So getting your iPhone up and running with this is uh, pretty simple. A lot of you guys know that I primarily record all my videos with my iPhones. So real quick, I'm just going to show you guys while using Filmic Pro how to go ahead and get yourself set up if you want to use this microphone with your iPhone. So take your USB-C to lightning cable, plug that in. Once you get that plugged in, you're going to plug in the USB-C cable to the bottom of the microphone. You can use headphones if you want to monitor the audio. That is up to you. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using Filmic Pro, but you're going to take your lightning cable, plug it into Filmic Pro. And uh, once you get that plugged in to Filmic Pro, you should see uh, some power coming to the actual microphone. And keep in mind, I'm using an iPhone 10, and uh, I'm pretty sure if you use an 8 or anything like that, it should work. But you see it says Shim Boy. That lets you know that the microphone is plugged in. Um, so right here, you're good to go. And uh, just for, you know, testing purposes, I'll be uh, just tapping on the microphone just to show you guys that the levels are actually uh, picking up. And uh, the top button is the actual RGB button. So it cycles through a few colors. And then on the last setting, it just continues to cycle. So I think that is a really good look for this uh, actual microphone. So Let's just go ahead and uh, get to the actual audio test of this microphone and wrap this video All right, up. You guys, so let's just do a quick audio test while using the RGB microphone. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it right now and I do not want to switch my camera angle and sit it on the desk. Therefore, I am going to just hold the microphone. One thing to note is that you can't mount it on a boom arm like I probably said earlier in the video. And another thing to note as well is the fact that I have been recording this whole video except for the intro and the outro of this video with this microphone. So everything as far as the voiceovers go, has been recorded with this microphone and I wanted to come back and do basically a face to face with you guys to let you see me actually talk on it and just hear what the microphone sounds like, you know, right in front of you guys just like this. So 
Um, I do like the microphone. Um, it is a uh, very, it's sturdy. It's, it's, it's built pretty well. It is a little bit of a, a hard type of plastic around the microphone, but for the most part, um, I do like the build quality. I love the RGB light effect and things like that. I like the fact that it has a mic, I mean, a mute button, volume button. You can plug your, um, headphones in and things like that and monitor your audio. Um, but the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it doesn't have a spot to mount it on a boom arm. Um, because that is something that I prefer to use than just having it standing up on my desk like that. Now, for the voiceovers, I didn't use a boom arm, obviously. I just had it standing sitting on my desk, and it worked perfectly. Uh, but for me, I prefer the boom arm um, just to get it up off of the desk for any extra noise coming from me pressing the keys and things like that. So anyway, this has been a really quick audio test while using the RGB microphone. Like I said, I just wanted you guys to see what it sounds like face-to-face -face so you guys can judge and critique the audio coming from this microphone now if you do like this audio drop a comment below or in general just let me know what you guys think of the audio coming from this microphone and with that being said let's go ahead and wrap this video up now if you found this video helpful in any way don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so the youtube algorithm can be nice to this video it's been your man jay and i see you guys in the next video peace